Okay, you're looking at Strudel. She is a spayed female, three to four years old. Uh, looks to be a shepherd mix, very happy, very outgoing, very strong, with very little leash training. She will pull and she will pull and she will pull. She needs some education because she's big enough to knock you down. Great with kids and says, I love to run around and play, but she's also very appreciative of sitting on a good couch and getting her belly rubbed. She needs training, but she's very smart and very responsive. And she really wants to make you happy. This is a dog that wants to please. She, you know, basically this is, this is a blank slate. You're gonna take this dog home and you're going to write on her soul. And what you're gonna write is, I love you and through loving you'll learn to please me because that's all she wants to do. Her name is Strudel. She is as sweet as can be, but very strong and gets excited really, really quickly. Sweet girl that she is. The dog you're looking at now is, T is TJ. TJ is a neutered male. He's about nine years old. Looks to be a Bichon or Bichon mix. Really a happy, outgoing little dog. Loves to walk and walks well. Loves to be petted. Loves to cuddle on the couch. He's good with other dogs and he's great with kids. He's easy to bathe. He's easy to handle. Probably needs some training, but he's absolutely the sweetest little guy you'd ever want to come around. Um, my goodness, look at that happy face. He is a happy, waggy, adorable little dog. And if you're looking for it, now he will have to go to the groomers because he's going to grow and he will not shed because that's not the kind of coat that sheds. So if you've got somebody who's got some allergies to dog hair or dander, he might work well for them. But more than anything else, if you're looking for a little buddy to love, this is the guy. That's all he wants to be is somebody's special love on the couch, on your lap, being hugged and petted. His name is TJ and he's as cute as he could be. The dog you're looking at now is Zoe. Zoe, they're guessing, is a min pin mix. She's about three years old. She's spayed. She's very sweet and very, very playful. Loves all kinds of people, new people, old people, everybody. Just anybody who pay attention to her is her buddy. She will need some house training work, apparently. Seems that she would do well with kids and other small dogs. Crates frighten her. But she loves to, to, to run and play in open areas. Um, yeah, she loves to explore. If you can tell, she's very curious about the world around her. She's very, very cute. Bring her up a little closer. She's very, oh yeah, look at that. It's an absolutely wonderful face. Your ears on upside down, Sugar Plum. Can I fix it for you? Yes, hello, sweet. You're going to choke yourself. You're going to choke yourself. She's very, very sweet, very friendly, very cute, a great size for apartments or houses for kids or grown-ups, but somebody who's looking for a dog with lots and lots of energy because Zoe loves to play. She's looking for a home. She's waiting for someone to come and get her. Okay. The dog you're looking at now is Moonbeam, an 11-year-old American Staffordshire Terrier, who you might have read about. He had been adopted many years ago from Save-A-Pet. He was found in New York. And he was brought to a shelter there where they checked him, found the chip that led back to uh, Save a Pet. Um, there is an organization of pilots, and they flew him back from New York at no charge and got him back to Save a Pet. He's great on planes and in cars. He's good at taking baths. He loves toys, and he is a huge lover. Good with dogs, good with kids. He knows sit, he knows sit pretty, he gives paw, and he comes. And he is a bundle of energy. But this dog has had a very adventuresome life. Unfortunately, the people who adopted him, all the phone numbers that the chip referred to have been disconnected, and they couldn't find the original owner. So here he is back at Save-A-Pet. But he is a wonderful, sweet, loving, handsome, friendly, outgoing, well-trained. What can I say? There just aren't words enough. Moonbeep is a wonderful dog. And he's looking for someone who will take him home and keep him and take better care of him than was taken by the people who apparently took him to New York and lost him there. His name is Moonbeam. He is a happy boy, and he's looking for a forever home. The dog you're looking at now is Peggy. The Hatter down is a Manchester Terrier mix, and there may be some Manchester in her, and there may be some Shepherd in her, and we don't know what else is in her. 
but this is Peggy nonetheless. She can be very shy about new people and new things, but once she gets to know you, if you can see, she's all over you and she's your best buddy and she's a curious girl. Peggy lived in a shelter all of her life, so she needs lots of training. She hasn't been house trained, she doesn't know about houses, but she loves people and she will do just about anything. Uh, lay on top of you, yes, pretty girl. Just do anything that she can for attention because she is, I mean, having spent six years in a shelter, you know that she hasn't gotten as much love as your normal average house pet. And she wants it because she is so full of love, it is dripping from her. If you have the patience to take her in and teach her, she'll follow you around, she'll lay on top of you, she's good with kids, cats, and dogs. She will do anything she can to please She'll literally try to crawl into your skin and kiss you to pieces. This is a dog that's ready to learn. And if you've got the patience, boy, will you get wonderful stuff back. She is absolutely delightful, and her name is Peggy. Bentley is a four-and-a-half-year-old puggle. Fun dog to play with, loves toys. Um, needs a little time to meet new people, but once he's comfortable with you, boy, he's happy as he can be. Um, he knows sit and he knows paw. This dog is not happy with people who, with strangers touching his legs or his paws, um, which means no small children because very frankly, you know, they might inadvertently do something that would make this dog upset. And I don't know that he would snap, but I don't, would rather not take that chance with little people. Um, he walks better with a harness than he does with a collar. But he does love affection, and he does love attention, and he does love to be loved. So if you like Puggles, he is a very cute little boy. And, I mean, even if you don't like Puggles, he's still a very cute little boy. Um, no small kids in the house is, is, is a definite. Um, but outside of that, he gets along with everybody and everything. He is lovely and loving and very, very cute. His name is Bentley. This is the last dog we're going to show you today, and she is our special needs dog. Her name is Rumor. She's six years old. She is a Collie Aussie mix. She has heartworm, so she has to be kept calm. Um, and when she's okay, she's going to need a little basic training. Good with kids and some dogs. Loves to lay on the couch with you. Loves treats. Very food motivated. So whatever she doesn't yet know, all you need is a good hand and a warm treat and she's happy. Now she's frightened by the camera. She's being very, very scared of the camera and she's having, has, don't, don't make her approach if she's really scared. She's, yeah, she's, she's just a little frightened of the camera and we don't wanna stress her, especially because she is heartworm positive. But this is a dog, see she's leaving. Come here, sweet girl. She's very, very beautiful and she's very, very sweet. And if you adopted her, save a pet, of course, um, pays for the heartworm treatment. And all you commit to is keeping her calm and not letting her run for the period of time that she's being medicated. After that, she's going to need some training. Uh, and she is a little shy, but she's gorgeous and she's sweet and she's loving and she's absolutely wonderful. And I would say that in six months, this is going to be one of those dogs that you brag about for the rest of your life. She's that sweet. Her name is Rumor.